One of my favorite parts of this, uh, this acronym, CBAC, yeah. is the word civilization. Marrying black and Africa with civilization. Oftentimes, yeah. we disengage the two. Yeah. You know, you use that term again. You said black civilization. Yeah. Why do we think, and is it, is it, uh, is it changeable? You know, why do, we not, why do we not marry Africa or blackness? with the word civilization. Yeah, when you're do, do, do. Mm. you know, it means you're, you're black, mm. you know, and your, your vision is black, and therefore you are not civilized, and therefore you cannot develop. Yeah. Uh, I, I think those ones also uh, came over time with the corruption and the distortion of our perception of ourselves. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's why we also had black leg in the family, uh, a black Sunday, but it is ourselves that would have to change all those, uh, uh, how do I put it, negativities about blackness. Is there such a thing as black civilization? There is. Indeed, there are copious historical evidence, scientific evidence, to show that the civilizations of Greece, the 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 ancient civilizations that made European countries what they are today actually borrowed from Egyptian civilization, which has been proven to be purely African. So there is civilization that is African. There is, and still today, look, Europeans all over the world, white people, still go to ancient Egypt to look at the pyramids and they imagine the level of technology that could have informed the construction of such an edifice in those days. Even in our own country here, you know there was a boat that was recently discovered, I think, in Borno State, which is almost uh, maybe constructed in the 18th century or something. Local one. In fact, not 18th century. It's about the oldest that have been found around African countries. Boat. Now, that shows that at a point in time, our people had a technology that could compare favorably with what existed in other that's countries. Right. But unfortunately, uh, that's why sometimes we need, we would always talk about colonialism. That came and truncated it. But the worst thing that happened to us was the change of that perception. We became, we, we, became, we developed a sense of inferiority, a, an inferiority complex that as a people, we, we can't compare with others, which the Asians are not doing. Now, part of the mission of CBAC, one of the things that we are trying to do today, is that there is a need for us to promote our indigenous languages. People may not know, but that's an area where a sense of inferiority complex is gradually beginning to creep in and is taking root in our societies. Today, in the average Nigerian elite home, the children don't speak indigenous languages. Yeah. In fact, they feel ashamed that their children are speaking Yoruba or Igbo. It's even worse now. If you speak English and you don't speak with a certain accent. accent you think that you are inferior. Yeah. And so I said it got to a ridiculous point that even when people employ house elves from the village, they bring them to Lagos, they bring them to Abuja and all other cities. And those house elves speak the local language. They now employ English teachers for their house elves so that the house elves will not corrupt the English of their children. Oh. Now, and nobody takes a teacher to teach Yoruba to the children. They only have English teachers. And language is the vehicle of culture. People argue that in a, global, a fast globalizing world, yeah. that you know, these nuances are unimportant, and that to be able to compete favorably, it is true that you need to be able to speak a language or speak, act in ways or whatever. Yeah. Is, there, is there real truth to this? There is no truth in it. You see, part of the thing we have to realize is that globalization is not new. Uh, capitalism, which is the bedrock of globalization, had always been globalized. That's why they moved into our countries in the first place. It had always been a global phenomenon, and there's a way in which they now change the coinages. So in another maybe 10, 15 years, it may not be globalization, they will change it to, they may even say it's globalization. Mm -hmm. 